Hi guys, welcome to this session. In today's session, we're gonna see how to create a website visits campaign inside the LinkedIn ads account. So once we log into the account guys, we can start creating the campaign from this page, which is the advertise section. Okay, so we're going to create a new campaign. So we can go inside the existing campaign group and we can start building a new campaign altogether. So the objective of this campaign is going to be website traffic. So we start with that kind of a goal over here. So you can click on next if you want to stay with this same campaign group. And now you can see the first thing LinkedIn asks you is objective. Okay. So our objective today is that we want to get a lot of visits on our website. So I want to have website visits as my objective of the campaign. And then we'll have to set up some audience targeting. So in audience targeting, there are various options which you will get over here. If you go to audiences okay so you can see all the audiences which linkedin provides okay so these are all the template audiences which linkedin has which we can have a look at let's say i'm looking for businesses okay which are majorly having expertise into it or information okay security or it decisions okay so i can take that into consideration and i can select that audience also, in a, uh, addition to that, if you have any previous campaigns running, then you can select the audiences from there as well. Okay, You can see on the right-hand side as well, LinkedIn provides you some forecasted results around what kind of audience size will we be able to uh, target. Okay, Also, it gives a 30-day spend as estimates as well. How much money can we spend? What kind of impressions can we get? What kind of CTR are we looking at we can achieve? and number of clicks and what will be the average CPC we can expect to have in this scenario, okay? Then comes our target audience. So we are looking at location targeting now, okay? So in location targeting, you can do various types of location targeting. So for example, you can target the whole country, you can target a specific state as well, okay? You can do, let's say also in this manner, Okay, also you have city targeting, which you can do. Okay, so all these options you will get also inside the location targeting section. If you want to exclude certain areas, locations, you can do that as well. In this way, you can select your exclude locations as well. In addition to this, uh, we can also look at the audiences which we want to target specifically let's say we're looking for specific kind of audiences so in audiences section uh, you can upload a list of people okay whom you want to target company or contact list which you can get from your linkedin page okay lookalike audiences okay which you can create as well over here that option is also there also, what you get to see is retargeting. So if you want to follow those people who come to your website, check out your products and services and don't do business with you, you want to follow them with your ad. So you can do remarketing or retargeting from here. Third party as well, wherein you can connect with third party company or contact as well. Okay. And then you have the other audience segments as well, which we can create out here. In addition to this, uh, you can so you can build these multiple types of audience targeting. The other attributes are wherein you can do audience targeting based on company demographics. So here, let's say I want to target specific kind of people with an age. So I can select those from here in this manner. Also, let's say I want to look at specific gender category, which is male, female, both. So I can select them like this. Once you do your demographic targeting, you can also target based on education, which is giving you the flexibility of targeting based on degrees, people hold fields of study and member schools, uh, job experience as well. If you want to target specific kind of people with certain kind of experience into their work, you can select those as well. Okay. So job functions, let's say I'm looking for IT. Okay. Or Let's look at technology, information technology. So like this, you can select job functions as well. And then interest and traits. Okay, what people's the members 
traits are, their interests are based on which as well, you can target them. General interest. So let's say we are again looking for information technology. Okay. So like this, we can do interest targeting as well. So like this, you can build out the targeting part, which you can do over here. Once you do this, then we are coming to the ad format. So in the ad format today, what we are looking at creating a text ad, okay, where we can run a text ad for this website with its campaign. Okay, so we can go ahead and set the budget, a daily budget, which we can set a lifetime, or we can do both as well. Okay, let's say we're doing a daily budget, which you can set over here. Okay, you can schedule the campaign as well. So you can give it a start date, and leave it as it is so that it runs permanently or you can set a proper start and end date. In addition to this, when you come to the bidding section, so LinkedIn provides you with the option. So what is your focus? So optimization goal, what are you focusing on? Are you looking at LinkedIn landing page clicks or you are looking at impressions? Okay. Okay, so in this case, what our focus is on getting landing page clicks. I want people to come to my landing page and click on it. Okay, so that is the objective. So with which uh, they give you the bidding strategy, manual bidding, which we can do and a recommended bid also, which LinkedIn provides. So you can take that recommendation or you can modify it as per your requirement as well. Once this is done, you can also set up the conversion tracking, which is an optional thing. Okay, if you want to do it, which will help you track the clicks as well. Okay, so which we can possibly do or else you can move ahead. And now you can see we're coming to the next page where we can create the new ad. So here we start building out the text tag. Okay, so the first thing which you can do over here is you can add an image. Okay, so we're going to look at an image, let's say right now. Okay, so you can attach the image and start writing the headline in this manner. Okay, you can give your website URL out here. You can see the preview of the ad, how the ad is looking like now. Okay, how it will appear on the LinkedIn page. Once this is created, okay, you can go ahead and create the ad. Once the ad is created, Okay, it will bring us to the review page of the campaign where we can review the campaign. Okay, so you can see the ad is created now. If you want to create further more ads, you can do it from here. Okay, we can move next. And now we are in the review and launch page where LinkedIn is telling us that you can just go ahead and review all the details. Okay, if you want to make any changes to it, you can make the changes. All of that can be done out here. If everything looks fine, you can go ahead and launch the campaign. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a different name. And we can launch the campaign. Okay, so now as you can see, the messaging is given. LinkedIn will start looking at reviewing all your ads. Okay, they will take like 24 to 48 hours to do so. Okay, and then you can, the campaign can go live. So you can go to the account review page where you can see the campaign now. Okay, so here we can see the, the ad which we, the campaign which we have created out here, which is website visits Jan 1st. Okay, and if you go inside, you can see this is the ad which we have built now. Okay, in this manner, we can go ahead and create a website visits campaign inside the LinkedIn Ads account. I hope this makes sense and everyone is clear with the process of how we built this campaign out. Thank you so much guys for listening into this session today. Have a great day guys.